was good in his first one last week. First pitch is in for a strike. 0-2 for Emmy, sprays one into right. Lead off base hit. Rip down the first baseline. It's fair off Blake Burke's glove for Remy. Hard turn for third. He will hold up there. It's going to be a double for Jared Toby. Great Danes threatening early. It's Will Binder who stands in in the three spot. First pitch, it's on the ground. Burke has it, but a run is going to score. Beam steps on first for out number one. But the Great Danes, they have their first lead of the weekend. Yep, same thing from Binder that we saw yesterday since his freshman year in 2022. He fires in another fastball. That is strike That's three. Prisco goes Tito. down. That's a big get. There's the 2-2. Two -two. Beam hums it through. Back-to-back -back Ks to end K the K inning. 1-2 for Beam. And that's in there. Another strikeout. Drew Beam's got that's three on the afternoon. And that's an easy 1-2-3. One, 1-2 two, one, two, ties up Mazzara. Drew Beam. 1-2-3. One, one play, but other than that, solid. Robin Villanev on the 2-2 two, two count. It's the pitch that runs in on him. Burke, good swing down the line. It's in all the way to the corner. Hard turn, Villanev. He's at third. He will hold up. But a huge, loud double for Blake Burke. Facing the freshman righty. There's the off-speed. Curley hits one well. Left field, heading towards the porch. Curley's done it again. His second home run, the freshman delivers. And he's been impressive so far, hasn't he? First three innings. And the curly home run put Tennessee on the board. Now Dalton Fargo. That is the fourth straight volunteer aboard here in the fourth. Fargo on the move. It's ball four. Pitch up high. That's on base plus slugging percentage. It's kind of the new model of the metric of how. Lips for these moments, and man, does he deliver. Bases loaded, base hit. It's going to go for extra bases. Two are in. Dryling now makes the hard turn from third. Here's the throw, not in time. That ball's in the outfield. Amick, bases clearing triple. <laughs> Tears in the air. Left field line going to be a tough play. Ranging in foul territory there is Toby. Amick's going to tag from third. Job well done from Kavaris Tears. He gets the RBI. And that's inside. Inning continues. Peebles, that's the second time he's walked. Both times hit by a pitch earlier this inning. That's a sharp swing, heading deep center. Philippi backing up. He'll have no chance. A rocket over the batter's eye. It's a first home run in a Tennessee uniform for Robin Villanev. Oh, two. Hot shot on the ground, bobbled from Mazzara over to first, not in time. On the move is Blake Burke, and the throw is in center field. Burke's going to get to third. Don't usually see Blake Burke take off like that, but aggressive base running pays off. 3-2, that's a swing and miss, foul tip into the mitt. Good glove from McElway, and that ends the inning. Big the inning in the fourth. That hits him. For Remy, that's his third base hit, and it keeps the inning going with two outs. Hard turn, look at this throw from Dryling, but safe is Vitucci, just got under the tag. Toby waits on it, puts it into right field, that's an RBI base hit. Great Danes chip into Tennessee's lead.
to 70 pitches here in start number two. Hard hit over to Curley at short. Flip to Moore. That's out number three. Tennessee Volunteers, they got Texas A&M across the way at the Food City Center. Dalton Bargo, that's deep left field at the wall. It takes a carom, and it's in. Bargo's got a double. I fly ball right field. Down the line, running forward on a dive is Mazzara. It's a fair ball. Drops in Bargo, who was holding up, able to scamper to third. Runners on the corners. 0-2, Dryling deposits one into left. That's an RBI. Back-to-back -back days. Dryling brings in a run. Amick waits on it, shoots it right up the middle, and Philippi's there. Aggressive tag from Moore. He'll make it to third. Runners on the corners now. So far on the season. This one is dead center, and it is gone. No doubter for Tears. He flipped the bat almost at first base. All Kavaris Tears does is rake. <laughs> That's a loud home run number three on the year for him. That's what we were just leading into right there. First game to the last when they were in Omaha. It's Blake Burke, another loud extra base hit. Rockets up against the wall. He's going to head for second, head first slide. He's in. Big way to start off the inning. That was a big piece of last year. Blake Burke back doing big things. Opposite field swing. The wind is really going to push this one. Back at the wall, no chance to get it. Dalton Bargo has his first Tennessee home run. Start all opening weekend in Dallas. And again, it's just very patient at the plate. That's another walk for him. Five on the year. Four straight balls, so Alex Perry once again. Amick sky high, right field way. Vitucci on, it's moving, but he has it. Great play from John Vitucci. And that's ball four. Third volunteer to take the walk in this inning. Mixing, keeping guys off balance. Tennessee keeps finding barrels like this right here. It's changing their mentality and how they're having to pitch. That's a rip from Cannon Peebles. Run home from Backus. It clears the bases. Three in on the Peebles double. Attempt to benefit them in the long run. And Stephen Turk, his first two pitches missed, so that is ball four to Robin Villeneuve. A couple of starts already this year. Time he takes strike three, and that's going to end the inning. Stephen Turk. As we move into the top of the eighth, first pitch will be a base hit for Jared Toby as he welcomes Luke Payne into the game. He'll extend it for a double to lead off the eighth. You, and no matter where you turn, man, there's there's always somebody. Hot shot up the middle. Colby Backish has it. Tagging and scoring is Toby, so a sack fly for Will Binder. Trying to make that jump to a weekend starter is not easy. That's ball four. That two, two hits Villeneuve. That's the second time he's been hit. Chapman, Rocket, down the line. Going to be good for extra bases. Already has brought in a pair. Hard round, Villeneuve headed for the plate, no throw. Three RBI double for Reese Chapman, his first hit of the season. Watch the numbers offensively, they did. I definitely think they got the juice, and I think they got a little bit more with it from what they've had in the past. Bender's got it, that's out number three. Where's our heat lamp at? <laughs> Rip from McElway, that drops in. So welcome to the game, J.J. Garcia. That's a leadoff double. Up the middle. 
back-to-back -back hits here to start the ninth for U Albany, and they've got their fourth run. That's going to be an RBI for John Vitucci, his third hit on the weekend. It's all at the bottom of the lineup as well. Now Ryan Ferremi sends one deep right field. That's off the scoreboard. Two-run home run. Ryan Ferremi, have a day. That is his fourth hit of the day. Still a massive mountain to climb, but they're fighting back in the ninth, and for Coach Mueller, that's all you can ask for is a bit of fight even if you're down this much. And there's a strikeout. Good comeback from Garcia. Up the middle off Garcia's glove. Picked up, thrown from Lori, but it sends Villeneuve off the bag. From Garcia, there's the deal, and there's the strikeout. Tennessee's going to take the series. A dominating win on a Saturday.